If uh, you had the opportunity to look at your animation on a iOS device like an iPad or an iPhone, you may notice that when the ship goes over to the right over here, it's actually pulling all of this, uh, pushing all of this content to the left. And um, well, you may be wondering why that is. Well, if we consider the actual dimensions of an iPhone for example it's 320 pixels wide yet the way um, Apple designed that browser uh, their mobile Safari they actually have it render stuff that's 980 pixels wide and that's because you know they have that retinal display and um, part of the reason just that the, the pixels on there the actual little lights are a lot better than what you even get on your computer screen so it could render something 980 pixels wide pretty nicely on that small handheld device um, while that's great and all that's not really helping us with uh, our problem right because that's that's essentially what it's doing uh, it's pushing this beyond uh, its what we intend it to be and it's pushing our design over so we have to figure out an approach to fix this and fortunately it's pretty straightforward it's something that um, when you're designing web pages for mobile you use often and it's the uh, it's the meta element or the meta property viewport that actually Apple created for their uh, iOS devices or mobile Safari specifically and a lot of other browser manufacturers kind of adopted it too as the standard and this is what we're going to copy and paste into our HTML page and put into the head it says meta name viewport and the viewport is the part of the screen that we see it says content initial scale 1.0 and that just makes sure that the page is at a hundred percent zoom not overly zoom just where it should be and then we define a width and the width we're going to define as the device width which for the iPhone is going to be 320 pixels but maybe if you're using something like the HTC Evo I think that's about 480 pixels wide it'll make sure that your uh, that your page is scaled to uh, its width uh, rather uh, scale to 100 percent and then define its width as um, the width of the viewable portion of the of the device so uh, I'm just gonna take this declaration over here and I'm gonna put it right into well I did so already um, I'm put it right in to my head over here uh, in my right before into the head section of my HTML5 document and you notice how it has this ending style um, this XHTML kind of closer I don't need that I could just take that out I mean you, you could even leave it it's not gonna get an error but I just kinda like the consistency of this and I'm gonna upload it and that's really all you need this little piece of code over here is going to solve this problem um, and of course there's plenty of uh, documentation available out there uh, Safari's uh, HTML reference section actually has something exactly on this, the supported meta tags, and it'll kind of give you an idea of uh, why they implement it and uh, how you could use it to prevent issues like this.